I've always had a fascination with fire. No surprise, since it's human nature to be hypnotized by a blaze of dancing flames and embers. But we also fear it for its destructive capacity, burning everything in its wake and leaving nothing less than a scene of total destruction. Whether we admit it or not, our minds are poisoned by our love of the Inferno and its ability to destroy. Okay, maybe I shouldn't talk about man's arrogance when it comes to fire while speaking in a terrible British accent. But to give wildfire victims a word of comfort, fire actually serves a vital role in nature. Once the flames pass, life has a clean slate to grow once again in basically a matter of months. In places like forests, tree seedlings and flowers will rise from the ashes, and many plants actually rely on the fires to help them germinate. It's basically Mother Nature's version of spring cleaning, just inspired by Mortal Kombat's Scorpion. So in addition to being destructive, fire can also be a beneficial force. But there was at least one instance where fire was a good thing for paleontology. Over 30 years ago, a forest fire took place in Europe and revealed a new, enigmatic species of dromaeosaurid. Meet the Mesozoic Phoenix, Pyroraptor Olympius. Fossils of this animal were first unearthed in southeastern France in 1992, but only received a formal description in the year 2000. The fossils in question were very fragmentary, consisting of only a forearm, a tail vertebrae, a few teeth, and a raptor's signature toe claw. Not exactly a complete specimen, but these remains were still diagnostic enough to label it as a dromaeosaurid. With this new discovery, the animal was given the genus and species name Pyroraptor Olympius. Its binomial name means Fire Thief of Olympus, and unlike dinosaurs like Thanos Simonatoi, its name actually makes sense. You see, we only became aware of Pyroraptor after a forest fire passed through the area where it was discovered. The researcher said bet, or whatever the French equivalent would be, and gave their new find a fiery name. Plus, it's a lot better sounding than something like Baguette Raptor. Pyroraptor was a rather small animal, estimated to have been less than five feet in length. If true, this makes it even smaller than Velociraptor, but it definitely wasn't the smallest dromaeosaurid of all time. The large toe claws of Pyroraptor were two inches long and were used to anchor themselves into their prey's flank while the predator tore them apart. So before you disregard it as a harmless little critter, just know that you're still alive when they start to eat you. However, for as cool as it was, Pyroraptor has been a nightmare for paleontologists since its discovery. Due to a fragmentary fossil record, we have no idea where this animal fits on the dromaeosaurid family tree. Some researchers believe it to be a true dromaeosaurid, and many depictions of the animal show it as a velociraptorine or dromaeosaurine raptor. However, several studies hint the possibility of this animal being a member of the Uninlagians, a family of Paravians with stork or heron-like body frames. At the moment, no one knows where this animal fits on the raptor family tree, and it's simply classified as, well, a raptor. Yeah, that's as much as we know. But Pyroraptor's classification gets even more complicated because it may not even be its own animal. You see, the Fire Thief wasn't the first Dromaeosaur to be discovered in France. That honor goes to this animal, Veraraptor mechanorum. This animal was found in the same locale and lived around the same time as our fiery friend. And this has led some scientists to believe that Pyroraptor and Veraraptor could have been one and the same. However, with both animals being incredibly fragmentary, there's not enough evidence to confirm nor deny this. And that's the problem with a lot of European raptors. They're usually incredibly rare and their fossils don't preserve well. Now, it's not unusual for a dinosaur to be found in pieces. It took over a century to find a good specimen of Tyrannosaurus, but even by dinosaur standards, finding a complete specimen of a European dromaeosaurid means you need the grace of God as your best friend. Preservation bias can be a total clusterfuck.
But while we wait on that, us dino nerds can have fun with fiery speculation. With a name that means Fire Thief, this has inspired some paleo artists to depict Pyroraptor holding a flaming stick or hunting down prey during a forest fire. But how much of this is even plausible? Well, in the modern day, there have been instances where birds use smoke and fire to their advantage. For better or for worse. Crows have been seen standing in and sort of bathing themselves in chimney smoke, and scientists say they do this to get rid of parasites like lice and mites. African secretary birds will stand around bushfires to catch and kill small animals trying to escape the flames. Many species of kites will also do the same thing, but the Australian black kite will go a step further by taking flaming sticks, flying a good distance away, and dropping them on patches of grass to kickstart another fire. So as you can see, there are a lot of birds that use fire to their advantage, but could Pyroraptor do this? Well, a lot of birds that utilize fire are often highly intelligent. The catch is, Dromaeosaurid intelligence is impossible to know, and for all we know, they could have been just as smart as these modern avian dinosaurs. As a result, Raptor Pyrokinesis is definitely speculative and should be taken with a healthy dose of salt. That said, I can imagine Pyroraptor taking a page from a black kite's book and starting fires like a Stephen King novel just to grab its dinner, provided it doesn't set itself ablaze in the process. But again, just like its classification in fossil history, this firebending intelligence is something that we know virtually nothing about. Nonetheless, I still have a soft spot for Pyroraptor. I'm hopeful that this enigmatic animal has a well-preserved specimen out in the French countryside just waiting to be unearthed. The potential of such discovery is just as hypnotic as the fire it's named after, and only new discoveries will unveil more about the hidden French phoenix. But that is the end of the line for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video as it encourages me to make more content for you all in the future. Man, two videos in one week, what is this, Christmas? No, it's just me getting the most out of my time before I go back to college. Don't forget to check out my Instagram if you want to see some of my artwork, the link to that will be in the description down below. Uh, I don't have anything else for this, duh. Well, that's it for now, see you around.